what is going on ladies and gentlemen of the jury my name is jace machine i am fueled by coffee driven by insanity and today we're playing star made back on the star squadron server it has been a while i apologize for that i hope you guys are doing fantastic today i am doing well and i had one of those moments like where, where am i when I logged in here, we are floating above Nathan's place here. Our ongoing game of Monopoly that we were playing the other day. This is Nathan's sandbox uh, home base. If you guys are not familiar with Nathan, you should go to my description and make yourself familiar with him. Having a little bit of problems on the server today. I just uh, had a server crash. We are back home. Here we are, back home. We got our uh, small squadron of Cylon Raiders down there, as well as our converted uh, diner from the Spaceballs movie. We took our diner off, and the sign we can use that now for cargo transportation. But this is what I wanted to show you guys. This is my new fleet. Let me hop into a build block or a core, not that core, and I'll show you what we got going on here. Uh, first off, since we're in here, let me give you the grand tour. This is the control area for our submarine. We go on down here. This again is, uh, is also control. We have various computer systems that work. Uh, our cloaker only cloaks the thing for four seconds, but it is, well, I don't know, it's four seconds more than other people got. This is going to be the restrooms, and then we have uh, engine room back here, small battery here. It's not very efficient, so I might take it out completely, and then back here is some uh, wasted space that we're probably going to devote to shields and things like that, or we'll put in more of these to make the battery more efficient, because if the, can, we can get the cloaker to work somehow. That would be awesome. That's what I want for the submarine, is that for the cloaker to work. Now, if we go up into the fore of the ship, we'll pass through more bunks. This vessel actually requires uh, that you have three people piloting it and using it. You have one person up in the control area, up on the core. You have a second person who hops into the build block. The person up in the build block would then be in charge of setting up torpedoes using the docking method slip it to the floor there set up the torpedoes as such I don't have a dock to do it but that's how you would do it and then you would basically line them up you can store a handful of torpedoes along the way here and then what we got here is a break between the torpedoes now this light right here will tell you if the torpedo bays are open Obviously, red means danger. You do not want to launch the torpedoes when the blast doors are closed. So we have two different torpedo decks here, and this position here is for the uh, the loader, uh, the second loader. He sits here, and he looks back, and what he does is he's in charge of turning on this and that to keep these open. And then as the torpedoes launch into position, he reaches into his cargo bay, and he would pull out explosive warheads and then he would place them in both locations, and then he would hit the buttons. Now watch the rails here. See that? Both there and there on both sides. Now we might need to change this up possibly and make a dual thing so that I can fire them off separately, but this is how it's currently set up. It doesn't work bad. And when I say that, I don't mean it works great, but it works. Um, we're still getting some of the bugs out, but we haven't had any major explosions inside here that have destroyed everything and everyone. So that's how this works. Let's turn that, shut that right there. We got invisible rails on the inside here. Let's take a look inside the build block and I'll show you what we got. These rails here are attached to a rail speed, uh, at a rail speed computer? Yeah. And so when the first warhead loads up here you place the block here as the the warhead guy and then hits the button it gets launched out here you can't see but the uh the track goes all the way through to here we just happen to also have a blast door that fits all the way in as well a lot of explosives i don't want people to be able to get shot directly through here 
since we're outside of the vessel, let's take a look. I will tell you straight up that I absolutely hate this back deck gun. Mostly because it doesn't swivel. I might have to fix that. We'll see. Haven't done anything spectacular with the rear engines here. Under the new update, these things will actually flare up. So let's take a look. All right, are we ready? Yeah, there you go. That's pretty awesome. That is pretty awesome. Uh, yeah, can't see. You can uh, not use the guns. Let's get up into the periscope. That is what we've got to work with here. All right, leaving the sub, we now see that we have three World War II inspired ships. One based on the Spitfire, one based on the B-17 Flying Fortress, and one based on the P-38 Lightning. The Lightning is probably my favorite as far as its performance goes. It is a nasty, nasty little fighter. And I am also especially proud of the cockpit. The cockpit designs, if you've been watching my videos for a while, you know that I came up with this design back on, I don't know, Snow Speeder or something like that. Uh, it comes with a lock. Don't forget to disengage the lock. It's probably not the best uh, design, but it's the one that I got right there. Well, this opens up, as you can see, giving uh, ample room to come in and sit down on the inside. And then, of course, shut it back up. I had these back engines covered up the other day, and I really wanted to see what they looked like. So I pulled off the little slabs and made sure that we could see them when we're flying around. These are pretty cool. I like. Yeah. Very cool. Is there anything we should be firing at? Let's uh, let's test this computer out. All right, I don't know if the server's still running. There was a crash report that I skipped over, but uh, yeah, take a look at the damage. 110, 44. Again, this is a tiny little guy here, and the reason why this is so effective is we got an overdrive computer uh, effectively added into this thing. So these P-38 Lightnings are deadly, deadly little fighters now. They pack a punch. I love it. All right, next ship. All right. Every time I try to do something, something crashes. This is, this is not good. I don't like. All right, park it right here. If it doesn't crash on us, we'll park it right here. Nice. Just lock that up. Like thus. And let's go get the other planes here. Alright, this is our B-17 bomber. Doesn't make bombs, but it makes a missiles right down here. It's got a number of uh, point defense turrets on it, of course, just like the real Flying Fortress. Though they're, they have varying effectiveness. This is the entrance here, by the way. This, oops, damn it, Jace. Try not to shoot things. Thanks. Uh, we're gonna put it in. Like that. That way we can still activate the button, but it has a little bit more uh, a little bit more protection. I can't seem to talk very well. How is that different from any other day? So now we are up inside. This actually is a universal docker. This will allow us to dock to any standard USD. Um, however, you need to adjust your gravity uh, when you are doing that. Heading up here, we will see that we can have access pretty much to the middle of the plane. This back corridor leads you to a manable turret actually so you can't 
You can sit here, you can hop inside the turret, take control, but mostly it's just a Bobby A. I activated turret. Up here we have a little navigation setup, a little holographic table here. And then if you guys are just riding as a passenger along on this vessel, you can sit down here and just look up and enjoy the view of the space and talk to people. Good times. <laughs> Good times. Uh, we need to go up here. Into the cockpit, of course. This cockpit sits here. Got your camera behind so you can have a cockpit view. And back here leads to our second entrance out on the back of the vessel itself. There you go. This is the gun. I like it. These little guns are pretty cool looking. I don't know if they work I'm worth a damn, but for missiles they should be fine. And then this here, you can come up between floors here, but this also acts as another manable turret. Where in theory you can get up into the ship core itself and, uh, and fire that turret if you so are inclined. I like having stations where players can interact with stuff on my ships. It's one of my favorite things to do, actually. All right, so let's get this guy parked. Oh, that's cool. You see the thruster effects? Getting more intense as the speed increases. That is something else, man. This guy is heavy. All right, let's see if we can't dock down here. Probably need to dock one of these forward-oriented ones. There we go. Woohoo! And just leave on out of here then. beautiful <laughs> that's it's docking <laughs> it's ridiculous I know all right let's go get the other this guy right here is my supermarine Spitfire I like the way it looks I don't necessarily like how it performs but it's not a bad little fighter it's just not as good as say my lightning down there it's got twin guns both set in the wings we have an intake thrust here instead of propeller. We have triple thrust, two in the lower bit of the wings here as well as a thrust in the back. And I hit the control access to the cockpit right here. And this thing, all in all, just is a better built canopy, I think. Red force field we could put in for decoration. I did that because if you could look in front, directly in front, there's just just no view. So, you know, it's what you it's what happens. Alright. So this thing does about 20 per hit. It's not the greatest damage in the world. Land right here. This right here is why it's not working. This guy needs to be dropped down one more block. So for the time being, we'll just drop it down there like that. G now brings up your weapons computer. So we can just hit G and assign. Submarine here is a cool looking vessel, but it doesn't work very well. We'll have to probably just stick on the B 17's uh, point defense turrets on the front. 
maybe over here. Let me hop in and show you guys what we're working with. We have a pretty good range, but we don't have any sort of side-by-side -side action here. I really like how the over uh, overdrive uh, computer is visible in this view. That's pretty awesome, actually. Inadvertently, but pretty awesome. I don't know, maybe I can make something out of it, but it's going to require moving this guy and this guy and let's see if that helps it does not how about this guy here that guy there huh let's see if that works nope If this doesn't work, then I just do not know what the hell is causing this thing. This should be a completely rotatable surface here. Still not rotating. Did I... Hmm. I just don't know. I just don't know. Let's take a look here. Will this work as advertised? Yeah, this one works fine. I don't know. It's a mystery, guys. We'll have to solve it another time, though. I don't know how much time I can get into this episode. We've been having a lot of problems. And this is actually one of the reasons why I haven't been really putting out a whole lot of Star Squadron content. So we've been having a decent bit of uh, server issues with crashes and stuff. But we got the right people on the job. Old Sven the Slayer, Nathan, myself, we can figure it out if we need to. So, with that being said, let's get this guy home. Home. And we are going to wrap it up for today. Oh, we keep crashing. We keep crashing. We just keep crashing. What is stopping this thing? It's these. This right here, damn it. Do not like doing that. Not if I can help it. Today, it's just vital that we get this thing locked down. Mm, right there. So, yep, here's the periscope. This is the controls. And that is going to do it for today's episode of Star Squadron. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm sorry for the problems. Um... I'm assuming that we didn't miss too much on this damn build. I'm really hoping that it worked out just right. If it did, I'm sorry. We'll have some more content coming soon, and I have more of the single-player series being recorded this week as well. Appreciate you guys being patient with me. I know I keep talking a big game about wanting to put out more Star Made, and uh, I've just had a lot of stuff going on in my personal life recently, and it always seems to happen right when I make a proclamation of intent. So... We're just going to go day by day, and I will keep the Star Made content coming as it comes. And be sure to check out some of my other playlists for my 7 Days to Die and other assorted games that I like to play. If you guys aren't subscribed, do so, so you don't miss out on anything. I love you all. I will see you guys next time. <laughs>